New information tonight about a couple arrested for leaving their baby home alone for more than two hours last night. Fox 10 News reporter Katie Weiss spoke with the couple today. She's live at the house where the two-month-old was found. Katie, what did the parents tell you? Well, thanks, Bob. I spoke with the parents of two-month-old baby Malia today who said they didn't really think it was a big deal to leave her home alone for a little while last night. Take a look at what they had to say. And, you know, I thought just a little bit of time away wouldn't have hurt nothing, but a little bit of time turned to a lot of time, and then, you know, stuff could have happened. 20 year old Marshall Rogers tells me he took his wife to learn how to drive and get something to eat last night when they left their baby alone. Yesterday, me and my wife clearly, you know, we wasn't thinking, but, you know, everybody has their own mistakes, their own times to mess up. Police say the child was left in horrendous conditions with a soiled diaper and an unsanitary house. But Rogers tells me he and his wife are just a young couple trying to make ends meet. I think that uh, my wife has like a slight depression problem, but we're going to work through it. And I say there's things that we got to fix on with us, you know, as a young couple. But police say the couple is still facing charges of child endangerment. No matter what the explanation is, it, it's, it's never okay to leave a two-month-old unattended at a residence, even if it's just for a minute. I mean, that's, that's not okay. So they, that's why they had to go to jail. In the meantime, Rogers says he and his wife will take parenting classes and will fight to get their child back as soon as they can. She's one of the most important things in my life, her and my wife. Now, I'm told the Alabama Department of Human Resources has custody of the child right now. I tried to contact DHR, but they declined to comment. Reporting live in Mobile, Katie Weiss, Fox 10 News. Thank you, Katie. Police in Pritchard continue the search for the people involved in a 